Making his second Six Nations appearance at the weekend was Adam Hastings, son of legendary ex-Scotland and Lions captain Gavin. You know, I used to go to games with, with my dad and, and my uncle sometimes. And, you know, obviously he'd get a bit of attention at games. So I kind of grew up with that. I actually stopped playing rugby when I was about eight. And I just, it was just touch. We weren't doing contact and I didn't really enjoy it. I played a lot of football growing up until uh, I was about 14, 15. Uh, so I think then I kind of had to make my decision. And yeah, huge influence on me. And, and I think that's probably why I ended up picking, picking rugby in the end. Well, the folk, no doubt, will feel a little remorse at not seeing the great man Gavin Hastings again. I went down to boarding school um, when I was about 16 and, and obviously ended up signing to Bath from that. That was massive for me, I think, being away from home. You know, I was kind of in my own little bubble up here, everything on a plate for me. I had to do a bit of growing up, living on my own, paying rent and whatnot. And then obviously, you know, I got my kind of first taste of professional rugby at a very good club in Bath. And, you know, I learned off a lot of good players. George Ford was there at the time in my position, Reese Priestland as well. So they were really good role models for me and, and you know, kind of took me under their wing, which I'll probably be thankful for. Hastings' spell at Bath came to an end in 2017, but a move back home to Glasgow saw the 22-year-old put himself firmly in contention for Gregor Townsend's Scotland squad. It was a goal of mine ever since I was young. I wanted to play for my country coming off the bench. It was just a dream come true, really, you know, to, to play for my country. It was nice to kind of get out there with a few of my teammates as well, you know, a lot of Glasgow Warriors players, so that was good fun. Kind of in, in dreamland for that, for that week and then handed my first start as well. Yeah, I was obviously disappointed with that game, you know, it didn't go the way we wanted it to, and I, I still obviously felt like we could have won that game as well, but yeah, it just kind of brought home the, the reality of Right, this is tough, you've got, to, you've got to really work for this and you're not just going to get handed to you these opportunities. I think I've learned from that. Dolly's got a good relationship with, with a lot of the players. Obviously, it's for a great cause as well, and it's, it's tough to see what he's going through, but he's, he's obviously taken it in his stride, and he's been extremely brave. That was massive for us, that game. And, you know, unfortunately, we couldn't win, but I like to think that the, the effort showed, and, and he, he might have been proud of that. Personally, you know, I think I've, I've definitely got an eye on it, although I'm just kind of trying to take each game as it comes at the moment. You know, it's kind of the first run of games for Glasgow. It's the first time we've broken into the team. I'm pretty focused on that at the moment, but I think as a squad, you know, we've got a very good chance. You know, you've seen the depth and depth in the Scotland squad now and, and the quality of players we have, you know, coming in is, is just amazing. You know, we've got the ability to win big games, so, no, don't cut us out.